Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Rock. Today we are back with another Philips Hue video. This time, Philips Hue Sync, an app you can download on Windows, on Mac OS, but not on your phone. It's uh, pretty cool. We're going to be checking it out today, downloading it, testing it out for the first time, seeing if it's any good, as we have a lot of Philips Hue devices here, as well as loads of Razer gear, which can also probably link up to the Philips Hue Sync app, or we can kind of sync things up. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. It'll be a good time. So let's hop onto the PC, download this Philips Hue app in the first place. So here it is. Philips Hue Sync, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you guys if you want to download this as well, if you have Philips Hue at home. But all you got to do is scroll down until you see download and experience now. Download it either for Mac OS or Windows, I'm going to press Windows as that's what I'm on. There we go, it's downloading, it's going to install in just a moment and it's just going to be a great time. So we have three Philips Hue play bars behind my monitor here. Uh, we have a Philips Hue light strip behind my PC, a Philips Hue light strip uh, behind my subwoofer there. Then we have some other bits of Philips Hue around the room. We have a bed that's compatible with Philips Hue uh, over there. We have another setup entirely that also has Philips Hue LED strips behind it. And I think that's everything. We have a Philips Hue bulb uh, up there, but I don't think I'll be using that. I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. We'll see what happens. We're currently installing the app. Okay, Hue Sync. Strongly recommended that you quit all programs. So uh, we will need the Philips Hue app on our phone to set up an entertainment zone. And then, although I already have one, so we might not even need to do that. So I, like I've got an entertainment zone set up in the app for uh, Razer Chroma. As you can sync up Razer Chroma with Philips Hue, like perfectly. Uh, so I may not have to set up an entertainment zone again, but uh, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, I'll show you guys how to do all that. It's real simple. It's installed itself. Okay, we have Philips Hue app launching on the PC. Pretty cool. All right, search for bridge now. Okay. Searching for Hue Bridges. It's going to find one. Any second now. <laughs> it's going to find one. Uh, one Hue Bridge found. Okay, connect. Press the button. Uh, it's just down here. I think I pressed it. Let's see if that worked. Yes, yes it did. It's all good. All right, so we have bedroom, seven lights. That's good. That's good. If we turn it off. Okay, all the lights just turned off. You see? Uh, you can't really see that though, so turn off soft boxes. There we go. Now you can barely see me, but at least you can see all the lights a little bit better now. So I'm going to put the camera back a little bit. Right, we can adjust brightness. We can max everything out just like that. We can turn everything off and it's going to get real dark. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Uh, we can press start light sync. Okay, so there's a couple modes that we can do. All right, so in this Philips Hue app right here, we have settings. We can press that. This opens up, we have entertainment areas, that's bedroom, the only area I have set up. We have general preferences, display preferences, auto select primary display. Well, that's gonna be, you know, the ultra wide here, of course. Uh, apart from that, delay lighting effect to synchronize with wireless display. I don't have a wireless display, but this could be useful for um, like a Chromecast. So that's pretty cool. Uh, apart from that though, CPU high performance. Yeah, I mean, we, we have a, <laughs> a good Ryzen CPU in here, the 2700X. So I'm sure that's going to handle Philips Hue Sync with no problem. Uh, in terms of app behavior, start Hue Sync on system startup. So you can enable that. Start syncing when Hue Sync launches. Okay. And then, aha, that is what I thought about. Right, syncing with Razer peripherals when enabled. Yes, please. Why the hell not? Uh, so is that it? Will it, just, will it just work? Like out of the box? I hope so. Uh, apart from that, uh, Hue Sync, you know, it's so good we can close the settings. And uh, we have four modes to choose from. We have scenes with, of course, yeah, your regular Philips Hue scenes. This is basically the Philips Hue app on your phone, but on your PC instead. It's pretty good. So we can select, you know, a nice warm white. We can select a nice cool white, just energize, you know. Uh, we have gaming. So we have subtle, moderate, high and intense effects. You can also tick this box for audio for effect. So this will determine uh, the intensity of the effects, I guess, based on the audio as well. Uh, so that's interesting. We have music modes. We're definitely going to test that out. That's going to be cool. Uh, I'm going to enable the Chroma visualizer as well on all my Razer peripherals. Uh, so it's just going to go crazy for sure. And apart from that, we have color palettes for the music mode. So that's pretty cool, you know. And then over here, we have video as well. So we have subtle, moderate, high, intense, and then audio for effect. Pretty cool. So the video one, I think is going to be really interesting. Uh, so if we enable this one, will it work with my peripherals as well? Or does it just take one massive screen cap? Okay. 
I'm gonna turn off the wireless charger there as it doesn't officially support Razer Chroma, unfortunately. But uh, right, we've currently enabled to video mode. Let's open up Spotify. Okay, if we full screen this. Okay. Minimize. Full screen. That's interesting. Okay, I like that. I like that. If we minimize this, we have the background here. It's taking like an image. So that's cool. Right, so when you go on Chrome on a new tab, you know, it's a white background. Everything turns white, including all the Philips Hue lights and the Razer peripherals as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's type in fire. Okay, let's type in fire. All right. Oh, well, that didn't really work out very well. That's um, the open image. There we go. The keyboard's kind of turned orangey yellow. <laughs> right, I'm going to play my own video. Just kind of see what happens, you know. So. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to enable audio for effect. So that's gonna do some stuff as well. Off it goes, as we have some music. If you haven't seen this video, by the way, you should, it's awesome. That's cool, that, that actually works like really, really well. There we go. The light's back on. What I'm gonna do now is instead of setting it to video mode, I'm gonna set it to music mode and we're gonna blast some music. So I think the effect or, or the color palette I'm gonna go for is, I think this one, the uh, blue, orangey and kind of cyan color, I guess. I think that will look pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna set it to intense, of course we are. Minimize this. Right, let's go on Spotify and uh, play the song we always play by Rootkit. Uh, well, let's do OU. Here we go. Turn that up. Just before we play the music though, I'm going to disable Razer integration, as I'm pretty sure we can have a lot better music visualization through Razer's Chroma Visualizer that has just been added to Razer Synapse. So, okay, this should be better now. Takes a bit of tweaking. Alright, so that was just like a crazy disco party pretty much. Holy crap. So one thing you can do here is add a game. Uh, so, oh, do I even have CSGO installed? I don't think I even have CSGO, but I have Battlefield 5, so we could launch that. Uh, there we go. Automatic syncing with games works best if you sync starts on system startup. Would you like to enable that? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so intensity, high. Now, nah, let's do intense. All right, let's do intense. Let's re-enable Razer integration, just so that's all good, and uh, disable the old Chroma visualizer. Connect, right. Q-Sync above everything. All right, so let's hop into a bit of Battlefield 5 and see all the Hue lights and the Razer gear react to what happens in game, as it is currently in game mode on intense. It's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so it, <laughs> it's already working. It's already working very well. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, yeah, what the hell just happened there? Battlefield, okay, yeah, you know, that, that, that's very normal, yeah, all right, um, okay, Battlefield's launching again, all right, cool, 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 and, okay, everything's just gone black again, nice, 
Okay. Oh, we good now? No more, no more black screens. We good now? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Yep, that's very bright. Oh. Okay then. Yeah, just just turn off. Nice battlefield. What are you doing? I'm just confused to what's happening. It just turned off again. What the hell wrong with you? Error sinking cloud storage. Ah! Okay, battlefields just it just turned itself back on. It doesn't care what I want. It just What in the hell is happening? Every monitor is just <laughs> flashing on and off. What? <laughs> I press back. Apply what video changes? What are you talking about? I don't think we can play Battlefield. I don't know what's wrong with it. It hates me so much. Like, how is this normal? <laughs> so this whole gaming mode clearly was a massive disaster with Battlefield 5. You all saw what happened, my monitors were just turning themselves on and off. That might be because of my very odd graphics card configuration, two RTX 2060s. Uh, that might be why they're kind of freaking out, uh, but this hasn't happened in any other game. So I'm blaming Battlefield 5 on this one. Uh, I don't know why it hates my setup so much, but uh, it was not happy, the game just, it just crashed every single time. Um, but hopefully CSGO will work and we'll be able to test out these lighting effects ever so slightly better in this Philips Hue Sync gaming mode, I guess. But damn, it's a shame that Battlefield 5 didn't work as that would be like the perfect game. There's like explosions and stuff, like that'd be awesome. But CSGO will have to do. Right, so CSGO is now launching. Everything should be all good. Let's hop into terrorists. Oh, that's full. Right, we'll be CTs. Okay, all good. Instead of a deathmatch, I'm gonna hop into a casual game with some bots and uh, let's drop a Molotov. See how that reacts. So, yeah, that that kind of worked, I guess. That was cool. Uh, the LEDs kind of turned red, you know. Whenever you shoot, there's definitely like, you know, uh, like some, like the lights are reacting basically whenever you shoot. Right, so I bought a flashbang now. Let's drop that and stare at it. Hey, that works well, yeah? So everything turned white there, pretty cool. Gonna buy a few more grenades again, test them out. So let's throw a smoke here, see how that reacts. Well, it is kind of a gray color, so that's kind of what happens really. Nothing too exciting, but let's try the flashbang once again. Goes off. A bit of a delay there, bit of a delay. But, yeah, it worked all right. Let's throw a nade. Right, I'm gonna switch it to video mode and see if that's any better. Okay, video, intense. Wait, start light sync. That, they have already been syncing, so I don't really know what it's talking about. Ooh, CS. Don't, don't crash on me. Don't be like Battlefield. <laughs> there we go. So, this will solely be, well, not solely, but mainly, yeah, so when you shoot in video mode, nothing really happens, but it's gonna mainly just depend on like what's happening. Although with a deagle, that still has an effect, but ah, oh, I don't know what happened there then. It's like one minute it's working, one minute it's not, you know? <laughs> Flash, see that's any better. You know, everything goes white. Smoke. You on smoke, everything turns grey. Use the old Molotov. Yeah, that, that, that kind of works. Pretty similar to gaming mode, really. So, in conclusion, I guess, I'd say the gaming mode does work very well for Hue Sync, and I'd probably recommend you stick to the gaming mode as opposed to using something like video mode for gaming. Uh, yeah, the gaming mode's just kind of better. It works better. The audio effect is much more responsive to when you shoot. So, whenever you shoot a gun in CSGO, for example, the brightness of the LEDs will increase as you know, you're shooting your gun. Uh, so, it'll kind of like reflect that on all your LEDs and stuff, which is nice. And uh, based on what happens in game, it's also kind of going to react. So if you get flashed, all your LEDs will turn white and, you know, max brightness pretty much. Your whole room will just like, you know, be filled with light. 
um, and uh, when that fades away, if you step into a fire, for example, your screen will kind of turn orangey. Well, not your screen, your LEDs will kind of turn orangey or reddish, uh, which is kind of good. Uh, when you get naded though, nothing happens. There's no real explosion effect on your LED lights. But uh, yeah, Q-Sync, pretty good. I'd recommend it. It works really well. Um, I like the whole video mode and stuff and uh, yeah, it's nice. And for music, this is like the ultimate like party tool. If you want to play music like on Spotify through your PC, and kind of like, you know, take advantage of all your LED lights from Philips Hue and just set up like a crazy disco in your room. Uh, the music mode is good, the video mode is good if you're watching like a movie or something. For gaming, stick to the gaming mode, enable the audio effect as that's really good. And uh, it's good to see that they also have like built-in Razer integration in the Philips Hue Sync app. So if you want to sync up all your peripherals for a single app pretty much, uh, you know, like no hassle at all. It's a good integration overall, like, you know, it syncs up easily. There's there's nothing really you have to do. You just add a game to the games list. When you turn that game on, it'll switch to gaming mode, sync up all your peripherals, all that good stuff. It'll, it'll be a good time. But uh, apart from that, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. That's pretty much going to be it for the Philips Hue Sync video. If you want me to make any more Philips Hue videos or check out any more like apps for it, let me know down below in the comment section. But apart from that, thanks for watching once again. I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.